Hi everybody, this is Gregor from Personas and I have a bit of a different video for you today because it's about my multi-button mouse. I love reading the comments of you guys and I noticed that time and time again I'm being asked what kind of mouse I use. It has these funny numpad buttons on the side. Is that any good? Well, I think it is, especially from a uh, hotkey ergonomic standpoint, which is really just a fancy way of me saying that the most used commands in Studio One should be the easiest accessible either on your mouse or on your keyboard. And that's exactly why I purchased one of these. And there are several brands that offer these kind of mice. I mean, you have Razer with their Naga Pro. That's uh, one of my favorite mice. Uh, not sponsored. <laughs> There's also the Logitech uh, G600 and a bunch of other manufacturers who make these. But depending on whether you're using Windows or Mac, you might face a couple of challenges pairing these up with Studio One and getting Studio One to recognize all of its commands. So let me show you how to make the most of these no matter your operating system. Let's go. Now let's kick things off with Windows users. The reality is that literally any multi-button mouse that I checked comes with its own software that's native on Windows 10, runs perfect, can be mapped on a per application basis. And that's where the story ends. Uh, so if you have a multi-button mouse or if you want to purchase one, at the very least Corsair, Logitech and Razer have softwares that run and can be mapped with Windows 10 and the mouse should be good to go for use with Studio One from there. Pretty self-explanatory. On macOS, however, the story gets a lot more complicated in part because Apple doesn't really support third-party mice at all. Fortunately, there's a couple of very smart open source developers who've worked around this problem and I'll show you a couple of either free or very cost-efficient apps that you can use to take full advantage of your multi-button mouse also in macOS. If you ask me, I see two major issues why third-party mice just fail to deliver the same experience that you get from Apple's own range of mice, for example, the Magic Mouse. One of them would be that the scrolling behavior, you know, this buttery, smooth, very famous scrolling, just plainly isn't available on third-party mice at all. You can only get that with a macOS trackpad or a Magic Mouse, it seems. However, there's a small app from an awesome developer called Moss, and I think it's completely free, although you should definitely donate and tip the developer by a coffee because it's just fantastic work. Uh, you're gonna find it on moss.caldis.me can download that straight away. And I want to show you what massive difference that makes. I'm going to go to the Persona Sphere page here and I'm just going to turn off Moss for the time being so that you see the native scrolling behavior with third party mice in macOS. And if you have tried this before, you know it's painfully true. Just look at what an absolute mess this is. Nobody would like to use such a mouse regardless of the feature set. But as soon as you turn on mouse, and the beauty of it is that you can turn it on and calibrate it on a per app basis. So let me just go ahead and enable that right now for Safari. Then you'll see what a gigantic difference this makes. See, immediately I got this buttery smooth scrolling behavior that people came to love from the Apple trackpads and the Magic Mouse. And of course, you can also calibrate that to uh, Studio One, to your specific scroll wheel. You are going to find that perfect setting. And once you do a life without Moss, it's pretty much impossible in my opinion. All right, so that should take care of the first of two major issues when it comes to third party mice in macOS. The second major issue is that any additional mouse buttons that go beyond left click, right click and middle click often just don't get recognized by macOS at all. That means that if you have a ton of these available, you still can't map them to anything using a software such as Better Touch Tool, which I'm going to talk about in just a sec, um, because macOS would simply not recognize the triggers. The remedy for that is a software called Carabina Elements. It has been around forever. And essentially what Carabina does is help macOS recognize these additional mouse buttons with a workaround. Here's how it works. You press the buttons on the side of your mouse and the little helper plugin that Carabina Elements comes with called Carabina Event Viewer should pick up on those and add them into Carabina Elements. 
From there, you can translate these mouse buttons that have been misunderstood as classic keyboard input into real mouse buttons that you can map to anything using an awesome software like Keyboard Maestro or Better Touch Tool. Especially Better Touch Tool I've been using for years to remap my mouse buttons because it's very low on CPU and it just works great with any kind of mouse or trackpad. Now, if you're asking, yeah, why shouldn't I just map these hotkeys on a Windows platform and then bring that over to macOS, you could certainly do that also, but chances are that you want to adapt these settings at some point in the future, optimize them, assign them to something else, have them change on a per app basis, and that you can't do if you have these fixed assignments. Once Better Touch Tool is installed, just open it up from the menu bar, go into the preferences, and then switch to the normal mouse view. Click on the plus to add a new trigger. You can also do that on a per app basis, as you can see here. And then just map these mouse buttons that have been translated by Carabiner Elements to any command inside of Studio One or any other app that you want. My strong recommendation would be to map these buttons to the commands that you use the most. Great starting points to map out are undo, redo, locate, selection, start, and locate, selection, end. Absolutely essential to me when it comes to navigating my session. And of course, also zoom to selection and zoom overview to really quickly switch between a micro and a macro view of my entire song. I really hope that this video is helpful to you on your quest towards a better mouse, both on macOS and Windows, and see you next time.